A series of cross-party negotiations ended a 29-hour-long floor vote session after a legislative staffer fainted from exhaustion. Legislators from both the ruling and opposition parties ended up ceding ground with the KMT caucus promising not to call any more floor votes. But the budgets of state-run enterprises will have to wait for the next legislative session for final approval. The floor of the legislature was empty this morning after yesterday's all-nighter. An interlude in the floor vote marathon that kicked off Tuesday afternoon came when a legislative UN staffer responsible for reading out motions on the floor fainted. Two rounds of cross-party negotiations after the incident concluded in the ruling in opposition parties calling a temporary truce. We will resume our session on the morning of Friday the 29th. All of the legislative caucuses have agreed that tomorrow they will refrain from putting forward motions requiring full floor votes. Lawmakers designated seats in the legislature lay empty today, but staffers remained in the chamber as part of their regular rotation. That was the extent of today's action. The KMT is always saying that they're looking to help save taxpayer money. But what happened today is that only five people came to the legislature. How is that looking to save taxpayer money? I think this war of attrition is one place where the KMT has let down our nation's citizens. The DPP did the same thing in the past, and their tactics were even more extreme. Incidents like this used to be pretty commonplace. For budget bills alone, there were times when they submitted two or three thousand at once. Members of the ruling and opposition parties engaged in mutual recriminations, neither willing to accept blame for the gridlock.